and welcome back to my channel. Girl, I am so excited about the... Okay, I need to stop. Just stopping myself because I say that in every single video, but what can I say? I love what I do, so I just get excited about everything. But no, seriously, I have never done a foundation review, ever. And when I saw that this was coming out, I knew that this had to be my first foundation review. I've been doing a lot more reviews lately. I've been trying to get into them slowly but surely. And you guys have been seeming to like them, so thank you for your feedback. But anyways, girl, one of my all-time favorite foundations is the LA Girl Pro Coverage Foundation. That foundation is super luminous, dewy. It's just perfection. It's probably my favorite liquid foundation. It's only $10. But anyways, we're not talking about that foundation today. Because LA Girl actually came out with a brand new foundation, honey. Ba bam! Look at her. This is the box that I got in PR the other day. And to say the least, I was shook. LA Girl came out with their Pro Matte HD Longwear Matte Foundation. And as you can see, those are big bullet points. It says medium to full coverage, long lasting formula and a soft suede matte finish. So we have all the shades that they just released over here and my shade at the moment, your girl needs to go tanning, is natural. It's a perfect match and you will see that in a few. They also sent over their angled buffer brush and this sponge I promise was not dirty when they sent it. I used it and I have the foundation on right now and I'm filming this intro a few hours later. This foundation retails for, I believe, $10 as well. If I'm wrong, I'll have a correction on the screen. Also, you can get 10% off all LA Girl products using my code ADIEL10. I'm also gonna have more info on when it is releasing in Ulta, online and in stores, and all that sort of stuff down below because they just recently started selling in Ulta, which is amazing. But anyways, today's review video is going to be on this foundation. I'm also going to be using a ton of other LA Girl products. So the next clip you're about to see is going to be me barefaced and testing out the foundation this morning. And then I'm doing a total of three check-ins after the initial wear to test out how long it wears, how well it wears, and just say all of my thoughts. But before we do all of that, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up to let me know how you like this video and how you like my review videos and if you want me to keep doing more. And also leave a comment down below letting me know what else you would like me to review, any collections, any products, different types of reviews, for example, foundation reviews, lip product reviews, eye palette reviews, anything like that. Also, if you are not already subscribed and you're new here, hi, my name is Adiel Jurgensen. I post every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday at 4 p.m. Pacific, 7 p.m. Eastern. It is such a good time around here, and I would absolutely love it if you stuck around. I've been on that grind lately, and you definitely want to make sure you stick around for it, and you want to stick around for this review. So, without further ado, please keep on watching. Okay, so it is unfortunately bright and early in the morning and so I could not be asked to make my bed right now because the intro isn't gonna be filmed right now I'm gonna film it way later in the day so excuse the background a little bit but I'm actually in a little bit of a rush so I'm not gonna do much chatting okay zooming you guys in a little bit more I'm gonna start off I found it appropriate to start off with my LA girl Pro Prep Primer. I've actually never used this one either just because I have my primers that I'm used to and I stick to them. But this is a HD smoothing face primer, so super exciting. Doesn't smell like anything. Feels exactly like Smashbox. Wow. Oh my god. Can I just say, LA Girl is definitely one of my all time favorite brands. And I'm also gonna be applying my moisturizer all over everywhere else just because this is a matte foundation and i have normal skin but in the winter i have more dry skin but la doesn't have winter weather so i'm good but i still just want to make sure i'm hydrated i'm gonna press this primer into the skin it feels so nice and it really does feel smoothing so now we're gonna dive into the foundation i'm so excited so i picked out the shade natural for myself just because i thought this would match most correctly right now and I'm going to pump a little bit out. Oh yes, I think it's pretty much perfect, especially with my neck and my chest. And since my chest is out to play today, I don't wanna look 
you know. So I'm just going to try and spread this all over the face and see what happens. So I was told that this foundation is best applied with a brush and they actually sent a brush with. And this is the LA Girl 108 Angled Buffer Brush. So, holy coverage. Oh my god. All right. Not to be like dramatic or anything, but so far, so good. No way. What? Girl. What? I thought I was reacting too soon or something. Hold up. I don't believe this. I need to do a close up. Girl. Oh, not gonna lie. This is a little, um, disrespectful right now. Okay, LA girl. LA girl did not come to play. She came to prove herself and... Honestly, I don't know why I expected any different. Their other foundation is my absolute favorite and it's perfection. But, you know, when it comes to like, that foundation is completely dewy and really dewy for that matter. So the fact that they're consistent and the matte formula is just as amazing. I'm pretty shook right now and I'm not even gonna lie. The shade is a perfect match to me right now. I'm really proud of myself. I barely even have to blend to the neck. That's how perfect it is. Definitely has a matte finish, but it's not drying whatsoever. It feels really hydrating and great on the skin. And now I'm gonna use the LA Girl sponge, which I've never used before, but I was also told to use this afterwards and told by um, an LA Girl rep, by the way for credibility purposes, but I've never used this and I'm shook. Like, this is so soft. First of all, well, I've never tried the Real Techniques one, but I'm pretty sure this one's even cheaper. It's so soft, it might even be softer than a Beauty Blender. It's bigger than a Beauty Blender. And I'm shooketh, to say the least. But seriously, flawless, flawless. Wow, wow, girl. Girl, 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 girl. Okay. I can accept being a little extra late to class because of this, this sleigh right here. Wow. Oh my God. And I do have some weird little pimples like above this eyebrow for some reason. And my Millie is coming back on this cheek because I haven't cleaned my brushes in a hot minute. And it's not accentuated or clinging to it whatsoever. Excuse the noises. It's early morning in LA. But anyways, I'm going to stop my rambling. I'm going to speed up getting ready. So for my eyebrows, I'm going to be using the LA Girl Shady Slim Eyebrow Pencil as well as some Gimme Brow. And then to conceal my face and my under eyes, I'm going to be using the LA Girl Pro Concealer, which is one of my favorites. Lately, I've been using the shade Porcelain, and I'm also going to carve my brows out with this. And then I'm going to set my under eyes and my lids with LA Girl Banana Powder, which is one of my faves, just saying. And literally, I'm not just saying all of this because I'm doing an LA Girl video. This video isn't even sponsored. So my shade in the brow pencil is Brunette, so a girl is running late. And I'm just gonna fill these babies in. Now, I'ma just need LA Girl to come out with a product similar to Gimme Brow. into the foundation nicely. Ooh, honey, we're going for a bright under eye today. Ooh, it's looking like a good brow day. Yes, that means I could take on the world. How do I have energy? I have not had any coffee. Okay, pro tip for you guys, do not use the LA Girl White 
powder, the loose setting one. Um, use their banana powder because you will not get any flashback. I just realized that I have this LA Girl Pro face powder. So we're just gonna be using all LA Girl products together because a brand's products are supposed to go together. Wow, my face honestly looks flawless right now. I honestly, no joke, I'm shook. I, I really can't, my face hasn't looked this flawless with like a foundation, concealer, everything like powder combo in a long time and I'm shooketh. I'm just keeping my fingers crossed that this wears. But honey, we are gonna be testing this until late, probably until 11 p.m. So we're really gonna get a test today. Okay, so full face is done and I'm in love with it. And I will be back in around six and a half hours to catch in, let you know how it's been wearing. And then I'm gonna keep coming in throughout the day. So I gotta go. So I'll talk to you guys later. Okay, so I just got back. From classes, ooh, you could see the PR box in the back. But anyways, I should have probably made my bed before turning on the camera. I'm actually about to film the intro in a little bit. But I just wanted to come on here to touch base with you guys on how it's wearing. So I have not touched my makeup whatsoever since getting home since all day. And I'm gonna zoom you guys in. Honestly, it doesn't look like it's moved whatsoever. The only thing that I feel needs to be touched up is just like a little bit of blend on my cheeks a little bit. I'm like super anal at that stuff anyway though cause I'm always, like I always feel like I need to have a blending brush. I don't know, that's just me. I'm gonna zoom in even closer, getting real here. This is how it is looking. Face beats. So I just look closer in the mirror. The only thing I do notice is a little bit of creasing around my lips. So next time I would probably bake around my smile lines. It's there's no emphasis on smile lines though at all whatsoever, which some foundations unfortunately do, but there is slight creasing. So just make sure to powder that area as well. But yeah, I will catch you guys in five more hours. Okay, excuse the somewhat messy hair. I feel like it's really messy. I've been laying in bed and editing and stuff. So excuse that. What? That's embarrassing. I left my bags of chips. You didn't see that. All right, anyway, this is the round 12-ish hour update, and this is five hours from my last update, so zooming in. Ignore if my eyes are starting to wear, if anything's starting to wear, I've been laying down, so just ignore that and really focus on the foundation. So still, I think the most important thing is that I'm matte. I mean, besides the glow, you know, but other than the glow. I love it. And I was just reading again, the soft suede matte finish. That's the perfect way to describe it. It feels so luscious. Love it. It feels like skin, not cakey whatsoever. So yeah, this is pretty much my update. You guys can see on my face how it looks. And I will be back in about three, four more hours-ish to give you the final update. Okay, checking in for the final time. It is actually midnight, 12.15 right now. Got home a little later than expected, but it's okay because it's good for the foundation review because this has a been on. I started doing my makeup at 7.30 this morning, so you do the math. But as it promises, long-lasting formula, definitely gonna have to agree with that one. So I did just eat some greasy ass chicken. My lips are crusty, they hurt so bad. I've been licking them so much. I need some A and D. But this is how we're looking. And honestly, I don't really see any changes. I'm really impressed. This is something that I would wear every single day. I, I'm so, my urge to rip my lashes off right now, I'm sorry. But yeah, so wrapping it up, wow, wow. LA girl, 
So this is for you. Yes. I should have filmed this final wrap up a little bit earlier because now I'm like totally out of it because I'm exhausted. I've been up for way too long. But I feel like I've reiterated my points throughout the entire video and $10. I think that's all I have to say is $10 and I have no complaints at all. So definitely go get you this. And now we're going to slide into the outro because woo, these are off. And the night's over. The night's canceled. So that is it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. We are back at our 3 p.m. mark. I just did my final thoughts wrap up because I can't do a final thoughts wrap up until 11 tonight. So anyways, I really hope you guys enjoyed this review video. I had so much fun making it. And I really, so far, love the foundation. And let me know your thoughts down below what you think. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all so much. And I will see you guys next time. Bye everyone!